For this video, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the beautiful Gaylord Opryland Resort located in Nashville, Tennessee. I've traveled extensively all my life. I can safely say that I've stayed at easily over a thousand hotels at this point, and this one just captivates me. I've traveled the entire world, and I've never found a resort and convention center that is similar in size and scale and has the, the beauty of this one. The most similar other property that I'm aware of is probably the Gaylord Palms in Orlando, but that is not nearly as expansive as this one. This one has three atriums that are indoor, uh, totaling about six acres. So just the, the idea of six indoor acres of climate-controlled gardens and uh, shopping and uh, islands and boat rides, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, even Disney doesn't build on this scale when it comes to indoor facilities. Don't get me wrong, the Gaylord Palms in Orlando is beautiful, but it's only got a single atrium. You know, this has three times the the atriums and walkways and gardens and it's just a much grander facility the Gaylord Opryland Resort is is kind of like its own city it's got its own shopping mall its own water park uh, like I said it's got three indoor atriums of botanical gardens it's just incredible uh, it, it's really like nothing else on earth that I found and don't get me wrong I know the hotel rooms here are a little pricey but you really get an experience, and every now and then I'm willing to splurge, especially for uh, a hotel this nice. When I was here, I only stayed the day, so I didn't really break the bank too much, and uh, the suite was beautiful. Um, you know, obviously, you know, clean, modern, very comfortable beds, nice and quiet. And if you pay a little extra, you get, um, you know, a balcony that overlooks one of the atriums, and, you know, the view is amazing. It really is. This resort pretty much has every amenity you can imagine, and the selection of restaurants that are here on site are really, really good. Plus, you're right next door to the Opryland Mills Mall. I mean, that mall is a little old, but there's still a lot of great shopping available there. And there's a bunch of uh, tourist attractions nearby, like the, the Dinner Riverboat is um, like across the parking lot. There's um, all kinds of museums that are close by. There's go-kart tracks, arcades. This is a tourism hub, and, um, you know, it's perfectly located if you want to see the sights while you're on vacation here. The hotel itself has 2,888 rooms to choose from, so there's a plethora of choices. Out of the three atriums that are here, I prefer the Delta Atrium. That's the one that has Delta Island, and that's the, the big center dome in the middle of the resort. It has Delta Island, where the Delta Riverboat ride kind of meanders around um, the canals that um, surround the island. It's about a 15-minute um, boat ride, and uh, I filmed that and already posted that on, here on the channel. So if you want to see what the boat ride looks like, uh, just look for the Delta Riverboat ride. Delta Island is also where there's a bunch of shopping boutiques and quick service restaurants. I think I got a cinnamon bun at the, the Cinnabon, if I recall, and uh, there's a really great toy store there. You know, I'm, I realize I'm a 40-year-old guy, but I still love going to toy stores. I, I can't help it. I guess I never grew up. The water park itself is only operated seasonally, so um, it was closed while I was there, but I mean, I was there in December, so what do you expect? The other th nice thing about uh, Opryland is they have a bunch of seasonal events, and there's this huge courtyard just south of the resort, basically right before you get to the mall. They do, um, like, the old-time Christmas there, and I think they do a Halloween celebration and, like, an Easter celebration, all kinds of stuff. It's always basically in that courtyard where they'll set up temporary ice rinks and haunted houses and those type of things. So what's the bottom line for the Gaylord Opryland Hotel? Honestly, it's kind of hard to... to come up with any con for this one it's almost an entire list of pros for me the only con that i can think of is the cost you know the rooms can be pretty expensive if, especially if you're traveling in um one of the prime seasons but you're paying to stay in what i think is probably the nicest hotel in the entire world you know i've stayed in places like the waldorf astoria and some of the other really amazing hotels that have like a world renowned reputation and 
you know, the Waldorf is nice, but it's it's crammed into an urban area, so they don't have nearly the facilities like um, here at Gaylord, where, you know, down here in the south, you can spread out and just build this huge place. I've been to those huge malls, like Mall of America and, and the American Dream, and this is that type of experience only for hotels. I mean, I just, I just don't know of any other place where you have these huge halls that... Um, are grand and you know 100 feet ceilings and just uh, nothing else out there um, reminds me of this particular place so for the bottom line I would highly recommend it and if you can find a way to afford staying here for at least a night it's uh, gonna be a truly unique experience and in my case I, I feel like um, staying here was one of the best experiences in my entire life thanks for watching this episode of the adventure schmuck if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe see everyone next week